In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the background in these window openings. So we're going to take the forest that's in the background and we're going to remove them so that they're cut out and it looks like this. And then we're going to add a new photo and this is the new photo and we're going to move it to behind the window openings like this. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate the background layer just in case something happens to it and also so that we can move the other layers underneath it if we need to. So right click on the layer and then choose duplicate layer and then just turn that first layer off. So we're working on the copy here. It says background copy. So once you're on that layer, we want to go and remove the forest, which is in the background in the window openings. So come up here to the Select Area tool, and we want to choose Smart Brush, and then we just want to start clicking and dragging to select the window openings. So we'll fix this in a second. So just do all three of them. I'm going to show you how to delete the areas that were over-selected. Okay, so then come over here and click on the Option key while clicking and dragging to deselect those areas that were over-selected. So hit the Option key and just click and drag, and it is detecting the edges quite nicely. Okay, that looks good. So then come up here to the Delete Selection icon and click that, and then we need to clear that selection. Click Clear Selection, and now we're ready to bring our new photo in. So while you're still on that layer, come up here to add new layer and then add photo layer and then whatever photo you want to use I am using this sailboat landscape but I've already brought it in so I'm not going to do that but that's what you would do you would double click it or come down here and choose open and it'll bring your photo in and it'll put it on top up here but we need to take it and move it to underneath our new background with the cutout windows. So I just clicked and dragged it. And that puts your photo behind there. Now I just want to move it a little bit. So turn off your top layer and then come up here and choose the pick and move tool. And then just move it to where you need it to be. And that looks good. And that's it. If you want to save your photo, just come up here and export selected photos. And just put your custom name in here. And then choose export. And that's it. I hope you like this video.